there are several specific types of challenging behaviours and unmet needs. Aggression is potentially the most disconcerting of all challenging behaviours. Aggression can be physical or verbal and is frequently an expression of fear, frustration or anger as a result of the unmet need to feel safe, secure, free from pain and in control of their life. As with all behaviours of a concern, aggressive responses are exacerbated by the loss of inhibitions and social skills associated with brain dysfunction. Resistance to care often occurs when an older person feels threatened by an offer of assistance to complete a task. The offer of assistance may be confronting to their sense of personal control. Hoarding or taking and hiding things may be a response to general feelings of loss and insecurity. Food may be hoarded. And that sort of thing too is, is under the preconception in their head that they won't have any food tomorrow because a lot of them have lived in come out through the depression and probably pretty hard times and your good old Aussie battlers uh, who, who don't understand that they will be fed tomorrow. But it's not just food that's hoarded. It can be anything the older person imbues with the sense of value. It might be newspaper, it might be um, personal possessions, things that they collect around the streets. But um, it is this, it's this self-protection, it, it's, it's a, pers a part of the person's identity. And, and to separate them from, from these items is, is very, very stressful and, and can cause some quite significant um, emotional um, stress on, on the individual. Repetitive behaviour, in both actions and words, arises from anxiety caused by a lack of understanding of what is happening around them. It may also be due to frontal lobe damage, making them unable to shift their thinking to a new task or idea. Accusations and suspicions are often caused by an older person's lack of understanding of their own memory problem. They may put something valuable away for safekeeping, forget where they've put it and then accuse others of stealing. It's sometimes due to, well, they may not be able to see too well, so they don't know who the person is. They may not hear too well. They hear sounds they can't interpret. So it's their own ability to, to see and hear that's impaired, and that causes them to exert this suspicious behaviour. Wandering is often in response to being kept in a confined space for long periods of time. Wandering may also be motivated by the desire to be somewhere else, somewhere safe and secure, somewhere like home. Sundowning is agitation that can occur at the end of the day. It can be caused by the feeling of insecurity when the older person is not in his or her own familiar home as the night approaches. Sometimes they're fatigued, they're tired, and when they're tired, just like when we're tired, you know, we get a bit confused sometimes, things aren't as clear, and they aren't as clear to the normal person, and so they can get quite unclear to people who, who are cognitively impaired. Shadowing is following and staying close to a particular person to feel safe and secure. Sexual behaviour is most often caused by brain dysfunction, leading to a lack of social inhibition. Examples of this behaviour include making inappropriate sexual advances, talking inappropriately or fondling themselves in public. Nocturnal restlessness can be due to the changes in the internal body clock due to neurological impairment. It can also be triggered by a fear of going to sleep alone or fearful thoughts of death that may arise at night time. Catastrophic reactions may include shouting, aggression, or uncontrollable crying, probably due to a misinterpretation of the circumstance or a reliving of past traumatic events. Depression, hallucinations, and paranoid delusions require medical assessment and treatment. There are several specific types of challenging behaviors and unmet needs. They are aggression, resistance to care, hoarding, repetitive behavior, accusations and suspicions, shadowing, wandering, sundowning, nocturnal restlessness, sexual behavior, catastrophic reactions, and depression, hallucinations, and paranoid delusions.